Hi, I'm excited to share this useful upcycle project with you all today. Designed to help you take care of one of your most valuable artistic investments, your paintbrushes. I have created two versions of this project, both starting out with upcycling baking tins and using other items that you probably have on hand at home. But if not, it's pretty cheap to recreate. Let's get started on the first one. You'll want to start off with a pie tin and an old furniture leg. This is about 10 inches tall. Some hooks. You'll need six of them. Some E6000 glue. And here are all the items that you will need for this first project. I decided to go ahead and spray paint all of my hooks for both projects and both tins copper. Being that they were old baking tins, they weren't the prettiest, so they needed a bit of an update. You'll need to mark six holes at the top of your furniture leg to drill in pilot holes for your screws. This just prevents you from splitting the wood when you go to screw them in. You don't have to drill all the way through. After your holes are drilled in, you can go ahead and paint your furniture leg. Any color you desire. I chose a dark color because I had Bondo repairs on this particular leg and I wanted to cover them up. And then the dark blue was just plain on its own so I added a little bit of mint chip to that just to give it some dimension. And then I sprayed the heck out of it with water just to kind of mix those colors together, almost like a wash, just real quick. And I'm blow drying it up, speed up the process. This paint will dry within a matter of minutes, that's why I went ahead and used it. And now it's ready for wax. I'm gonna seal that leg up so we can move on to the rest of the process. Wipe off the excess. And it looked a little boring, so I'm adding just a little bit of white wax to some of the detail. Give it a little more dimension. After the leg is painted and dried, you can start assembling. Those pilot holes help out so much. You can see how easily I'm able just to screw in the hardware with just my hands. And now all you have to do is attach your leg to your pie tin with E6000 glue and let it dry overnight. Allowing your paint brushes to drip dry upside down overnight is a best practice because it prevents the metal ferrule from rusting and becoming moldy, ultimately increasing the longevity of your paintbrushes. For the second version, I'm going to use an upcycled muffin tin, some copper elbows, these are half inch elbows, which fit pretty snug in a 5 8 inch dowel also need six hooks. These are a little bit smaller than the ones in the other project. Again, your E6000 glue. And these are all the items you'll need for this project. I'm going to start off by cutting two pieces of my 5 8 inch dowel, both 9 and a half inches long. These two nine and a half inch long pieces are going to be your side posts, which stand straight up and down. 
and it is tall enough to accommodate even some of the longer paintbrushes out there. The longest paintbrush I owned is my Paint Pixie Little Frenchie, and um, this stand is long enough for that. Because pie tins vary in size, you will have to take a measurement to figure out the middle portion of your particular tin. The side posts, you'll want to drill pilot holes into the bottoms, just like I'm doing here. And then your middle post, you're going to want to drill three holes on each side of it, right over each spot where a muffin would sit. And I did go ahead and mark these holes before. If it's a little bit rough, then just go ahead and smooth it out with a quick sand. If you desire, you can go ahead and stain your wood pieces or leave them natural. It's totally up to you. I chose to give mine a little bit of color. This product that I'm using is Dark and Decrepit by DIY. No, I'm not affiliated with the company, but I do really enjoy their products. Ready to start assembling this second piece. Once again, you'll put in your hooks just with your hands tighten those down. Those pilot holes really help out quite a bit. And remember the holes that were naturally on your muffin tin? That's a perfect spot for your posts. Just make sure you get a screw that is not so small that it's going to fall right through that hole. Tighten them by hand. Once you get it all assembled, get a screwdriver and tighten it the rest of the way. And then your little elbows, you'll need to put a little bit of E6000 glue. And attach your middle posts to your side posts. Easy peasy. I personally like the way this one looks better than the other one, but they both work just as good. And here it is all finished and dried. I want to show you what it looks like with short and long paint brushes to show you it'll accommodate both sizes, all different kinds of brands. And if your paintbrush doesn't have a hole in it, heck, I just drill holes in mine. Yes, that's my Klingon S50. I drilled a hole in it. But before you judge me, check this out. You know how Klingons are self-cleaning? Voila! And I don't have to worry about the water tipping over. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope it encourages you to upcycle an old baking tin that you might have laying around the house and create yourself a cute paintbrush storage drying rack. Thank you for watching.